Podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could just type yes in the questions. <clears throat> okay. All right. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. How many times I've been here talking to myself for five minutes and uh, not knowing that uh, no one can hear. Uh, so always start the webinar that way. <clears throat> Let's get the recording going. Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, the platform comes along with education. Uh, so there's an educational course. It's four parts. And it's a little, probably going to be a little different than uh, what you are accustomed to. Uh, we start with uh, basic market mechanics in order flow and understanding those, uh, like a sweep of the book. And we can go through that today. Uh, and maybe I'll show it in uh, Bitcoin as well. Uh, just beautiful sweeps in the, in the book uh, there. Uh, just... Uh, perfect for uh, demonstration of the of the concept, um, and uh, and then we we start there and we go through structure and and uh, reading the tape and the order flow and reading the liquidity at these levels and the context of all of that, uh, and then we go through uh, and back up uh, all of that content in um, education uh, in the live order flow uh, advanced analysis webinars that start at. Uh, 11 Eastern, so in about 25 minutes, okay, Follow, always following this webinar. Uh, so uh, you can learn about it, and then you can apply it in the live market. That's the concept. Uh, let's take a look at bookmap.com and just go through some of the basics here for those of you who are new, uh, and there are some new guys in here, so welcome. Uh, and um, we'll just uh, scroll down here and quickly go through it. Intro video. Uh, about bookmap, um, uh, NASDAQ total view, I'll talk about that in a minute here, uh, but connectivity. Okay, so first off, let's define what bookmap is. Uh, it is a visualization software trading platform. Okay, you can also see other platforms in here like NinjaTrader and TTX Trader Pro and, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect via the API of these platforms. However, uh, we are a platform too. So you can connect directly through your data provider, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, and Dev Experts as well. So with Dev Experts, this is that NASDAQ total view and last sale, and soon we'll be add, adding uh, BATS to that as well. Uh, and it's also for the uh, uh, GDAX exchange for digital currencies. So... Um, uh, that's uh, uh, how we're how we're connecting. Uh, we are a software trading platform. Okay? We're not a, a data provider, so you will need to provide your data, uh, except for those digital currencies. That um, we have an exclusive uh, deal uh, where uh, you won't need to uh, uh, provide the data. Okay, <clears throat> and it's free from us. All right, let's. Uh, Click on monthly here. Look at the packages that are available and just go over some of the options here. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's really uh, just a couple versions here, digital and global. Uh, the digital version here is free. It's uh, real time. You get uh, connectivity uh, to GDAX uh, and you get, it's, you know, uh, like I said, real time but only one digital currency at a, at a time. Uh, and, um, and you also get delayed U.S. Um, uh, equities data. Uh, so uh, those are the two um, uh, ways of connecting your uh, uh, digital um, uh, free version. Uh, so you get a taste of what Bookmap is. Uh, the digital plus here, uh, what you get with this is um, uh, the, uh, the ability to trade right from the Bookmap chart for the GDAX. Okay, you get the U.S. equities delayed. Uh, you can record and replay your data, uh, and then uh, you get the, the advanced education uh, as well. Okay, that uh, access to those um, uh, live order flow 
uh, webinars, uh, as well as that educational course. You won't get that with the free version, nor will you, with the free version will you get a full support, okay? Uh, once uh, you get a paid product, you'll get for, full support and that uh, advanced education. Global, uh, Bookmap Global, this is how you connect to, you'll need this version to connect to futures and U.S. equities. Uh, and, um, uh, and and it also includes the uh, the GDAX as well, everything from the Digital Plus here. Uh, and then the Global Plus is basically, in, it's uh, all inclusive, uh, inclusive of Global and Digital Plus. Uh, in addition to that, you get these add-on indicators. Okay, these are proprietary add-on indicators that we developed uh, for specifically the order flow. Okay, one is the ability to trade right from the chart. Uh, it's uh, unique in, in a lot of respects because you can see exactly the historical evolution of your trading uh, process, uh, and uh, and you can hide your orders behind high liquidity um, if. Um, you know, you're trying to, uh, uh, your, your stops, for example, or you can front run high liquidity for your orders to, to enter. Uh, large lot tracker, as you can see here, this is for uh, larger uh, players, identifying them in the order book and how they might be bullying the book or skewing it. Uh, or uh, maybe that's just where they want to get filled. Um, and then um, uh, imbalance indicators, as well as an iceberg detector, again, looking at larger players using hidden orders and getting filled without showing their liquidity in the book, uh, and a correlation tracker. You can also follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro, all sorts of new stuff here. Uh, and then uh, YouTube channel, uh, all sorts of videos, intro videos, features and components, and then order flow video snippets. Uh, this is uh, similar to the content we go through in the advanced order flow uh, live webinars. Okay, we just go through it in detail. All right, let's take a look at Bookmap uh, and what's going on here. Okay, we're looking at the ES and uh, okay, well you can see the, the 9:30 open here. Uh, it's uh, maybe a quick jaunt to the downside to this uh, kind of point of control here, maybe in the uh, overnight session, as you can see. Uh, but it's been quite bullish uh, since, as you can see, the nice, nice move to the upside. Uh, and it uh, looks like uh, we might get a continuation of that move now. All right. So uh, looking for this uh, 34, uh, 33 to 34 liquidity uh, to be uh, to be tested here. And uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it uh, as we uh, as we go through here. Uh, but I want to first um, uh, go through what you're looking at in Bookmap for the new guys, so that uh, because this can look rather daunting uh, and very different than uh, what we're accustomed to. Okay, so let's make it uh, simple uh, and something that we are accustomed to. Okay, and uh, we'll look at a simple candlestick chart. Okay, this is a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, open high, low, and close of a five-minute period. Okay, so we all know what the candlestick chart is. Uh, however, there are multiple problems with the candlestick chart. Okay, number one is it's aggregated data within a five-minute period. Okay, so it, it, what's uh, everything is lost uh, within that five-minute period. Uh, uh, number one uh, is the microstructure. We have no clue about microstructural areas that uh, uh, traded, were broken, uh, and uh, and then also seeing the transactions uh, that occurred in those microstructures. That gives us significant insight to uh, future price movement. Okay, and I'll I'll demo that when we turn on some of the other um, uh, data here. Um, the uh, uh, ah the uh, the volume. Where's the volume? Okay, it's in a subchart. It's completely separated here. Uh, you can see the volume down here. Let's close up our uh, indicator panel. We have an indicator panel that shows shows the cumulative volume delta. And um, all right, so uh, yeah, we know there's a lot of buying here. All right, so uh, that's good. You know, it's insightful. Uh, but where? Uh, you know, what type? Okay, actually, we split it out so we know it's mo mostly aggressive buying here. Uh, but uh, most uh, charting platforms won't, won't even do that. Uh, so we, we need to know um, what type of volume, uh, exactly where and when it traded, 
And then how does it relate to that microstructure? Okay, so let's turn on the microstructure uh, and uh, and we can quickly quickly get a lot of insight here. Okay, so uh, this was a really, really quick and strong move to the upside. Okay, here's a microstructure though. Okay, so uh, we kept on going up and then we kind of pulled back and you can maybe say this is even structural here uh, because we can see that we bounced off of this little swing right here. Okay, and then we continue to the upside. This is a little bit clearer though, right? And let me uh, use the drawing tools here to uh, to demo this. Um, okay, so here's the little jaunt, uh, and then here's a structural area. It was broken, and then we traded where? Up into this structure here. Okay, note how we broke that structure. Okay, and note how we traded, uh, let's uh, continue to, sorry. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so uh, note how um, we uh, uh, traded sideways here and then broke out of it, okay? Well, here's another structural area. From here to here. Okay, so you can see how important it is to understand these structural areas. I, I, that's completely lost in this candlestick chart. You, you don't see any of that data. Okay, so that, that's the problem. Uh, it's aggregated data within a five-minute period, just going up and down, back and forth between between that five-minute period. Okay, and um, uh, we want to understand this. More importantly, is we want to understand the volume within it. Okay, this is going to give us a lot of insight. Okay, so let's uh, clear the drawings and uh, let's put on the volume. All right, and then let's zoom back into these areas. Okay, and uh, here we go. All right, so um, we can very clearly see, let's get rid of the CBD. Okay, uh, we can clearly see here, uh, just lots of lots of green dots here, okay? This is uh, lifting the offer, okay? The aggressor is coming in here and uh, uh, they are uh, lifting the offer to higher highs. Okay. Some sellers come in a little bit in this little area here from our structure uh, analysis that we saw, and then they broke out here. Look at the breakout. Look what kind of volume it is. Okay, It's aggressive buying. It lifts the offer very quickly. Look at the color of this cluster of data or trading activity up here. Okay, We can see we rejected here uh, in a new high, and so we went sideways for a bit until the buyer stepped in and lifted it up out of this structural area. Again, really nice buying here. It's auctioning off very well to higher highs. This is very indicative of a, of a trend in the in the um, in the market. Uh, more volume, more aggressive buy volume at higher highs. So let, let me define that. Uh, what uh, and and let's just look. We'll zoom in here and just look at these two elements in the chart that I have so far in Bookmap. Okay, and then we'll add the heat map, which is just the third element. But uh, look at the aggressive buying up here. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, we start to see some sellers coming in here uh, a bit, but um, now we're starting to exhaust out here on that buy side, as you can see up here. Okay, where are the buyers? Right. In fact, look at the sellers in these areas here. Okay. So what exactly am I looking at in these two elements? Uh, the red line here is the best offer. The green line is the best bid. Okay. These green dots here signify and let me bring up the dot size just a just a hair here um, these green dots signify aggressor classification of volume this is a market buy order they cross the spread they took liquidity off of the best offer okay and note that we can zoom in here and we can see exactly what traded here okay and note how we, we're breaking apart all of those, uh, all of those trades, and we can look down into. Uh, we're down at millisecond level in the in the timeline here. Okay, we're looking at millions of seconds. Millisecond. I'm sorry, microsecond. Uh, and uh, we've recorded every single market event. Okay, so that's the the power of Bookmap. But 
uh, and we came from HFT environment, the software, uh, we needed to know where we were getting filled with our algos. And that's how this all developed. Okay, so we uh, retain all of that data here, but note how as I zoom out, we consolidate that or aggregate that into just a bigger dot, okay? It's just graphically done though. It's not, um, uh, it's still accessible, right? But uh, we don't trade at those, you know, nanosecond or microsecond levels. So uh, we need to know that uh, and understand the overall of what's going on here, okay? And, we, and here's our answer, right? Here's the aggressive buying, pulling that market up, okay? And uh, and then we start we started to note that uh, sellers were starting to come in. Okay, uh, actually we saw some of the exhaustion here, um, and uh, sellers started to come in here, right? But the buyer stepped in uh, and lifted it uh, just a, a bit a bit higher here. Okay, and then we start to see sellers are starting to come in though. Okay, and that wasn't the case like down here. Okay, we're getting all sorts of insight for a possible uh, reversal here. And, and change in the order flow, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, you can start to see even more sellers starting to come in here, okay? So uh, uh, we, we put all of this together, okay? Uh, and then we wanna see, um, let me bring down the, what we're looking for is we need to see, now we start to note, sellers are starting to come in here, okay? But we need to see the structure broken because we are still in an uptrend, okay? Uh, this is what we go through in this um, uh, advanced uh, order flow webinars. It's like, okay, we note this, but we're still bullish until we're not, right? And, um, uh, you know, we will here, here they come again, lifting the offer, okay? Nice, really nice insight up here. Uh, beautiful stuff. Uh, they, you can see that uh, 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 one more push to the high side here, and then look at these little uh, retests up here. Okay, it's, it's completely exhausting out. Right. In fact, let's zoom in and we can know precisely what traded up here. Um, at this level here, 43 contracts, and that's just up at this little pin here. Let's just put this data in here, though. And at this level, two contracts traded right here, this poor guy. Um, and um, it completely exhausted out. Sellers start to step in, and, uh, and they hit it pretty hard here. Okay? So and we can see that. All right. So, and that we're just looking at two elements here. Uh, and let's just get rid of the candlesticks because they're not helping us at this point. Um, and, um, and, and we haven't even gotten to the, uh, the strength here uh, of Bookmap uh, just because we, we're covering the, uh, uh, these, just these very simple two elements, okay? That third element is the heat map, okay? What is the heat map, all right? Uh, this is actually very indic. Uh, this is going to be a great example to go over in the, about 10 minutes with the advanced uh, order flow webinar. Uh, can't can't wait. This is a, a real nice um, uh, double uh, bottom here, and you're going to see that trend uh, uh, con continuation here. Anyway, um, the um, uh, the heat map. Okay. Well, what is the heat map? It's it's just a historical evolution of the dome. Okay. So let's go over the dome. Uh, everything to the right of this vertical white line here uh, is uh, the live market, okay? So this is your best bid and offer currently. Okay, this number here is your last traded volume. Here's your price ladder, and here's your dome, the COB column, current order book, okay? So what do these numbers signify? These are contracts uh, at these price levels here on the offer. These are sellers lining up, providing liquidity in the order book. Okay, just like they would, I mean, this is the dome. Here they are on the bid, down in these areas. Note how these numbers are always changing, okay? This makes it very difficult uh, uh, to trade using the dome because uh, you have to remember where the liquidity is, how much, how long it was there, how they behaved in front of it or behind it uh, at other price levels, and that's just on the offer. We need to do the same on the bid, okay? That's very taxing mentally. Uh, and um, for those of you who trade from the dome know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, well, let's solve that issue with the heat map. And there we go, okay? So what we do, uh, and let's just zoom in here a bit, okay? So we take these areas of high liquidity 
or it's a scale, and you can see the scale up here. Dark uh, um, gray is um, low liquidity, blue is higher, then white, then yellow, and then orange is the highest liquidity in the book. And here's our example. 2735, there's 919 contracts up here. Okay, that's fact. We just know that. That's where they're, you know, showing they want to deal. Okay. Uh, and we'll see, though, uh, if they mean business or not, right, when price comes up into this area or if it does. Uh, but um, uh, so we, we paint that in, in here. And you'll see that uh, if we zoom in, uh, you'll note how uh, this this is really kind of skewing the book here. Okay, so you'll note how these numbers change and the liquidity heat map changes. All right, and uh, uh, so uh, when that when the heat map changes in this window, it's recorded and transposed onto the chart historically. So now these all these striations in the colored heat map is showing that they're they're adding and pulling liquidity. Okay, so price just came up into 34 here. And they pulled, okay. Uh, and they're starting to pull up here as well, okay. So uh, uh, they're up here now at, at 35, and we can even see that they're starting to pull. We had 900 and something contracts. Well, now it's 880, okay. So uh, what's their behavior in this in this auction? We can answer that decisively. They're starting to pull, okay. They're not so interested. They're showing less interest in selling up here. Okay, and uh, if the if we see more aggressive buying here, lifting the offer, uh, then uh, uh, and they're shooting for this as a, as a target because the market needs liquidity to trade. Well, we can start to zoom vertically here and look for next areas of high liquidity. All right, and um, the important part here to piece together is the aggressor uh, and how. Uh, it relates in context to uh, the uh, more passive uh, uh, limit orders, resting orders. Okay, and we put this context together so we understand the um, uh, the auction with the, uh, the the intent of traders at these levels. Okay, in the order book, uh, how they're behaving, uh, and then uh, and then the aggressor here as well, like uh, who who's in control, reading the tape here. Okay, we can see that, uh, you know, buyers are still lifting the offer. Okay, we don't see a lot of sellers, uh, but uh, uh, we just kind of exhausted out here one tick away, but buyers starting to step in. Let's let's see them uh, test 35 right now. Looks uh, looks pretty good. Let's see it. Okay, we're one tick away. Okay, they're adding. Now look at their behavior here. They're adding in. Okay, just bumped up to 1,162 contracts. Okay, well, the buyers are starting to kind of shy away from that now. Okay, so this is what's occurring. Uh, and uh, and this is live in the auction here. We understand that, uh, uh, well, we can see that right when it came up here, they started to, um, to pull, uh, but then they added right back in. Okay, so uh, let's use our data tip tool here. Okay, and we can see we went from 900 to 800 and something, 852, and then they really started to add in here after that. Okay, 1152 uh, contracts. Um, so, uh, well, what's their intent? Uh, uh, they they want it. Looks like they want to get filled here, right? Okay, now they're starting to pull a little bit, but they're still. It's very very high. It's higher than before. Right. Okay, and and what's what's the reaction here? Well, the buyers are starting to shy away from that. Okay, it looks like we actually the the best uh, yeah we actually did test right into it here at 35. You can see nothing traded, not one single contract. If the buyers <laughs> still want to are still bullish, they're going to trade into this. Okay, well they didn't. Okay. And you know we're the sellers are going to note that and and note how you know they start to come in on the other side here, okay? And note how we actually broke this little microstructural area right here, okay? And we see selling down here, okay? So we made a lower low in the microstructure and we see sellers, okay? Now this is microstructural, right? But uh, based on that, 
Well, you know, uh, uh, if we see a little more selling here at 33, uh, or maybe even 32 and three quarters, well, we can come down and test the bottom of this range here. Okay, so uh, we're we're starting to understand the auction together with the uh, uh, the aggressor. Okay, and we just got that context here uh, uh, in real time. All right. Okay, well, uh, keep an eye on it. We're down at 33, and let's see if we can, uh, if they can uh, hit hit the bid now and maybe drive it down into these lower areas. You can see them lining up here at 30 and a half. Uh, maybe that is a, a target here. Uh, but uh, overall picture, though, okay, we need to, you know, this is the important swing. If we can see more liquidity trade down below, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, more aggressive sellers, uh, you know, transacting at, at this kind of swing or even lower low here, uh, then uh, we have the potential for price discovery further to the downside and maybe a shift uh, in the trend here. Okay, a switch in the order flow. All right. All right, guys. Well, I got to go. Uh, if you're signed up, uh, we'll see you in the next webinar.